If you haven't seen my previous videos, I've been on a mission to make an airless basketball that's as close to the Wilson airless basketball or even a regular basketball that I can get with regular 3D printing. And this time I made an airless basketball that had very surprising results. I decided to try and make an airless basketball out of the Polymax PLA filament by Polymaker. And the reason I decided to go with this filament is because if you've seen any of the TikTok videos by the 3D Print General, he actually had some fairly good success with this Polymax PLA filament so I thought I would give it a try with the model that I made for the airless basketballs. Obviously the first thing I had to do was actually print out my own airless basketball out of the Polymax filament and once that was complete I had to start removing those tedious supports and these supports were actually giving me a surprising bit of trouble compared to some of the other basketballs I've printed so at one point I decided you know what I'm just not even going to remove it with the clips I'm going to just bring it out to the garage and used my angle grinder with my sanding disc and just sand it off and it ended up working surprisingly well it got the bottom of the ball smooth but please don't try and do this at home and certainly not without any safety equipment Next I weighed the basketball and it was the heaviest I've ever printed at 684 grams. Since it is a rigid filament I really had my doubts about whether or not it would survive durability wise so I really just kind of thought I was only going to get one or two bounces out of it before it started to crack. Let me know in the comments how many bounces you think that I'm going to get out of this ball before it cracks. If it bounces more than three times go ahead and give this video a like. Alright let's go ahead and try and bounce this thing. Wow, look at that. It's actually surviving the bounces. I am actually very surprised with this. The first thing I noticed is that it is very loud to bounce. If it is quiet you're going for with these airless basketballs, this is not the right filament for it. But now that it's surviving these bounces, I just want to go ahead and give it a quick bounce test against the best airless basketball that I've printed so far, which is the Piba filament. I'll link to the video if you haven't seen me print one of those yet, but it ended up bouncing really well. And in case anyone is curious, the Piba ball has survived this far and has still bounced great. Okay, here they are bouncing against each other. It looks like the Piba basketball still bounces better. Now I'm going to drop the ball from 6 feet and see if the top of the ball can bounce above 49 inches, which is following the NFHS standards for basketballs. After looking at it in slow-mo, it looks like the top of the ball just gets above 49 inches, so it looks like it is within the NFHS standards. Now it's time for the durability test, and I don't know if you noticed, but as I'm bouncing the ball, there are little shards of plastic that are shooting out and hitting me as I'm bouncing it which is kind of hilarious but after about 120 bounces the ball ended up cracking. I'm actually really surprised that it got all the way up to about 120 bounces before cracking but now that it's cracked there's only one thing left to do. There's one last look of all the little shattered pieces that are all over the garage after bouncing it. Well there you have it, the Polymax basketball actually surprised me quite a bit. Even though it's a firm filament, it bounced quite well and held up durability wise for quite longer than I ever expected it to. Of course next up on my list is either maybe this filament or Super PLA Plus with a 3D gloop on it like the Uncle Jesse video if you haven't seen that one, seems to have some promise there, but I am currently printing some airless basketballs out of filament that's specifically designed for airless basketballs. So stay tuned for that and I will see you in the next one.